you feel you are stuck in your career doing the same thing every day again and again and this is stopping you from growing where you want to grow in the career this video is for you we call this breaking the loop and in this video we are going to show you different steps on how to break the loop and be successful in your career we are going to learn how to break this loop in 21 days well essentially four weeks starting from being unhappy and demotivated at your work to being curious on how to bring the change finally to happy and motivated working in this loop staying stuck in this loop in your career takes you away from your goal it makes you unhappy it makes you overworked and it makes you frustrated eventually it makes you exhausted with your work because you're not inspired or motivated to do this work when you are exhausted with your work, your performance finally starts going down. Where we will ensure this video is no talking and more actions. Well, less talking and more actions. Now I'm sure we want to achieve something different in our life. They can be different results from the same work. They can be reaching new heights within our job or maybe going to a different direction or a new direction altogether. Now, in order to achieve different results from what we are doing, what we need to do is to change our action. Remember, when you change your action, they result in a change in behavior, your day-to-day -day behavior and how you perceive work. When you change your behavior, you can see your performance going higher and you're becoming better at your work. Yeah. So without wasting our time and further delay, Let's get started right now. Now, in order to break the loop, we first need to understand the loop, what's causing it. So to do that, let's create a list of every task you have to do at work every day. Jot down the tools and skills required to do them. Note down everything in your routine which repeats every day. They can be things related to your family, home, work or any hobby you're trying to learn. Also, create a list of items you are learning every day to get all these done. Then, let's identify the loops. Highlight anything which you are doing every day and you do not find it interesting or motivated to. They can even be tools or skills, anything as part of your routine or anything you are trying to learn. It's time for some talk. Let's try to understand the process behind breaking the loop. And it involves five key steps. First, embrace. We need to embrace the fact that to bring the change, we have to start with what we are doing right now, be our job or any project we are working on. Next, enable. We have to learn the desired skills, tools, or do the preparation which we need to bring the change. Engage. Bringing the change gets easier when we engage in discussions with people, our mentors, or different forums which are related to it. Envision. Creating a vision of what the desired change can bring is important. It helps us define the right direction to go to. And finally, execute, executing the plan. And we will guide you through the entire process of executing the plan to break the loop. Now, this model is inspired by General Electric's 4 transformation model for organization proposed by Jack Wells. And we call it United's 5 year transformation model proposed by me. and action on day one we will focus on embracing the fact that we can bring change from what we are doing instead of going for a paradigm shift remember winners don't do different things they do things differently when you have a problem at hand it is you who makes the solution dull and boring or challenging and interesting or make it a masterpiece you are proud of start by creating a list of your daily tasks Remember the task list we created it before in this video? Identify two to three tasks which you enjoy doing and which is impactful. List down all the tools you have to do those work and pick the two which you are most fond of and would love to master and excel. This is your AG. Week two, spend next two weeks preparing and enabling yourself for the change. Spend this time to master these tools, learn about them every day for at least 15 minutes and keep looking at your tasks to see how can you make it better. With stealth mode on, spend an entire week learning about it. 
find out how people use them to solve the most challenging problems. Watch about how experts use them, how, what they talk about it. Spend dedicated time to understand what's going on in this industry and master the skills or tools to prepare for the big game. Now week two and three, along with enabling yourselves, you have to start engaging. Discuss with your peers, experts, your manager about them. Just how the same problem can be solved with your desired tools or skills. Talk to your friends to know their opinion. Ask expert on their advice. Create an engagement circle who can guide you, connect you or help you. Join different forums, community and make your presence felt. This not only helps you learn it in practical ways but also validates your knowledge and ideas. Start your third week with envision your goal with whatever knowledge and skill we have built so far. This is the most important step and shows direction for the journey ahead. Start with a small idea. Find people who can guide you with this, peers, friends and social media community wherever they are. Do not procrastinate with this step, waiting to master the skill or find the perfect idea and the plan. Take the problem or idea and solve it with the knowledge you have gained with your desired tools and skills. Visualize the entire vision, your idea, your solution, your tool, your support circle and get them all together. It's now time to start executing the big game. Get into the ninja mode. Spend a bit of extra time every day to try solving your problem with the smart toolkit you have built. Bring your idea to implementation. Show people what you're trying to and ask opinion. Remember, people don't like solving others' problem, but everybody likes giving a solution. This helps you learn and get new perspective. Next, start praying. No, start connecting pieces of the puzzle, your problem and your usual solution. And now your new solution. It will help you show your result to the superiors and once you have solved the problem, you will be appreciated and given opportunity. Repeat the cycle again and again and break your loop, pivoting towards the new direction, towards the new vision you have. Now, time to get some motivation and get started towards victory. Remember, to start your journey to bring the change, you just need a little push. Even if you're not ready, if you're not all prepared, you have to keep moving and you have to get started. Once you have done something, you can always look back and connect the dots together to go towards success and outwork if you want to bring the change, if you want to go ahead in the competition.